this isn't winnable. What are you blocking? Oh, with a minus one life. What the fuck are you blocking? All right, let me watch the stream. But what are you blocking with a minus one life? That's Be not a bestial cloud. Bestial cloud. Blocking what? Bestial cloud. Three one oh, yeah, from right three on. one. But why is that worth? It does worth. Okay, so look, I've got a better question. How does Westlord win the game? How does he get enough shadow to win before Shen just wombos bombos him out of the game and he dies? Yeah. I agree with yes. that. I agree with that. But, yep. That's your response is yes. <laughs> Wait, where is like because he needs to accelerate his win condition. And instead, he's just slowing down Shen. Slowing down Shen win condition does, does not mean that you on default win the game. I mean, I think Full Moon Reap. Okay, Reap, whatever. I mean, I Reap's a, okay, Reap's a cheese card. If you have a way to buff your cards like by one life, then it's the best card ever. But like, uh, yeah, I agree. This card work. is a huge commitment. And if you're gonna go with this card, you have to build into it hard. Which he's kind yeah, of, my... he's a little too split here for it to work out. I yeah, think. agreed. I don't, the shadow thing doesn't make sense. Everything else is like, okay. I'm sure there's an argument for Reap being a good card here. I don't think it's correct, but maybe it is. And yeah, Shen's second. I, I mean, think it's fine. Reap it's just, fine. Uh, it's just goes to, into Tempest. Goes to go into Tempest, something like that. Tempest. Yeah. Yep, Tempest. that one beautiful card no nah, i don't i don't know whatever the card doesn't do damage so i don't particularly like it it only has oh, a zero he's just going four, pure one, lightning on his, uh, on his one one during your enter no reaction tempest is fuck? good where's, where's this oh i can't look at it whatever i don't even care enough i mean i was gonna look at the the board because if he's going full storm what does yeah. he want on his i think board? this is one of oh, the yeah, best he, he went lightning. In he's going game. lightning tempest. he's going yeah damage. but what harness board what, what's he oh, using on the harness yeah card? so there's a few options uh, Oh yeah, it's all degenerate. Okay, yeah, never mind. I see what this is. There's the non-attack one and the attack one. He's going the attack one. That's fine. It makes sense. Yeah. Charge. Actually, this like I f there's one of the few things I actually kind of like what M4 did for once was that on his turn he held until the end of his cycle to charge John, which I thought was clever. But again, it's just pretty minor. But yeah, because you're not, you're giving less information to your opponent by waiting like that. Also, I don't think he was running the default. Oh yeah, you were you. We're, no, he was. I was. I wasn't. I didn't remember if he was running the default Harness of Storm card. Nah, Am that was Raira original. That was Raira original at that time. What? Okay, this no, guy's def somebody was definitely playing in Raira A one today. Because he doesn't want to get dark pulsed. Um, but where? Um, someone was running it. That that had to have been you, M four. You play A1 Ryra at some point. Yeah, only only one game against Ritona. Mm, that's the one you... Actually, I think it's the one you won for some reason. Yeah, because I didn't think you had Storm Charge Claw, and then when you flipped it, I was like, okay, you're trolling. Yeah, this just favors Shen. He can't get Dark Pulse, which he didn't bring anyway. Um, So now... So the interesting part is now that um, Westlord's locked in a weird spot where he wants to, he needs to get the ore, and Shen's putting a lot of pressure on him. It's actually kind of nice to see Shen kind of vary up his play style a little bit to a more aggressive style versus a more control-oriented style with like Chikage Yukihi or Chikage. Um, this, what do I have to play against Arasine, uh and Yurina? But I mean, even despite that, like Shen like kind of plays these half like aggressive decks where it's like. It's not full control, it's kind of like somewhere in the middle. But he does show a lot of control when he plays. And this is just kind of like an all-out aggressive deck. It could have been more all-out aggressive, but I mean, it's still fine. Didn't even put Behead uh, in the deck. That's not a good card. It worked on me one time, and I still won the match. And it was stupid. If I would have had Song and Dance, I would have been, been a three-life lead at the end. But of course, just not lucky enough. Oh, you're not serious. You didn't just do that, did you? Westward just hates Aura. That's what I've come to believe. He just doesn't like having Aura. Uh, okay, you're discarding. You need to Aura Aura this turn. Or before, okay, if you want to Aura Aura before your cycle, but just, just uh, I think just close the gap. Just close All right. The, you need to keep closing the gap. It's a, uh, For resolve. Recover. It's Recover one. Win run here. Recover. Recover one. No. No, 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 no. That, that's not the juice. It's we don't a do bring win run. Uh, uh, I don't remember. I think he chose not to. Yeah, I think he chose not to. He's West got, got Surge of Vitality instead, so... Westlord, that's not the juice. 
That's not juice in Westlord. That was a discard for an aura. This doesn't make sense. Now you you discard the, the uh, discard that to recover one. You should have discarded the other one to recover one. one. Why are you don't approach? You shouldn't be approaching a right row. That's not very good. Okay, a right row is cool, but I don't know. That wasn't worth at all. Nothing that I saw. He could have done that so better. He should just recover it. You don't advance versus right row for yeah, obvious reasons. You're going reason. with the early uh, reshuffle, but it's a, it's a Chicago too, so you do advance against Chicago. Eh, I'd rather. Okay, but isn't which one kills you? Which is the one that's annoying and it's going to happen anyway. I mean, I don't know. They both kill you. I, eh, not really. And this will actually unavoidable two one versus three one and the two twos. The storm charge claw and the August doesn't have the. The Kuna is also a two two, and the poison's going to make him back up. Yeah, see. Especially not running concealment is he? No, he's not running concealment. Uh, okay. Can I send out of range of Caltrops as well? Because the range is far. Um, yeah. Yep. Yep. Because he can only move up from three to two. You can induce, yeah. though, right? That yeah, he, he can induce to three, which is not going to put him in Caltrops range. Interesting. I guess maybe in this situation. I don't know. Was, is advancing better still than recovering, though? I don't understand it. Maybe. I don't know. I'd have to think about it more. Yeah, Shen is rather aggressive right now on the resources. What's he going to do? You're going to advance or recover? You're going to retreat? I think all of them have merits, actually. He's going to recover. He doesn't recover. Want, he's playing around the, the traps, for sure. This is fine. I mean, induce. That's probably not even worth going off this turn. What does he get? Yeah, he's. Gonna have an uneven day. Uh, I don't know. Uh, okay, he's gonna pull. Yep, great hand. Um, so oh, if you muscle relax it here, you're not gonna be happy. Don't muscle relax it. That means you will not be able to play the game at all. You just lose. If you muscle relax in here, you can't do any of your traps, and that's just kek W. Yes, it does. It's not. It's, it's not kek W away the match. Not yet. He doesn't need that. I think reshuffling here was probably the play, right? Nah, reshuffling just deal two damage and that's all. Yeah, you get two or damage. I don't know what else he has in his deck that could be. But then he digs, right? I don't think he has any other attacks, right? But he gets to pull two cards. One of them being a poison. I don't know. Move forward once is enough here. Forward once and enter, I guess. Sash and Moon is a great hero. Okay, sure. And then, sure. like, yeah. you're just daring Shen to continue advancing or stay at range three. Yeah. yeah. Game favoring Shen right now, right? For sure. Yep. Okay. Yes. Um. Oh, Shen got that again. Yeah, that card's gross. I think the... Shen just moved back to range four again right here. Here and then. Yeah, you open with that just in case your opponent decides to play anything. Yep. Yep, this is why we bring that card. Is it worth winning the game now? I don't know. That's sus. I don't not like that card in this deck. That card's like really juice against three one spammers, but this is just a ping deck. And let's also this deck would have it's gonna gone way worse too if Shen just would have went full ping into fast. Because, he, because he had the reaction though. Like Shen was playing around that. Otherwise oh, he could have wow. harnessed the storm first and gone like three one on the I other see. one. I get, I go to one, actually. Well, I mean, aren't the rest of what's the other reaction or one from Westlord that isn't um uh induce? Uh, reaction, sorry, special that isn't uh the twenty the twenty four flare one. Uh oh, that's the one that ends the turn when you take damage. That's a Keck W card in this situation. Actually, that one's not a complete Keck W card, but the problem with that card is that it. As you said before, that card's really good if you can juice it out to 24 shadow because your opponent's about to kill you and they can't, then that's juice, right? Because then you just 24 them out of it and then you just fucking wombo bombo them. But the problem is I don't think he has the tools to do it. And so like, like that would have been yeah. even if we assume that he's going to get the three shadow three life to shadow, they're just even right now, even with that, so oh, the juice. And see Shen's not gonna even let any free shadow go either. He's playing really conservative as he should. 
juice? Any juice? Any juicers? Well, that wasn't even a steel strings in there either. Yep, no just... attacks. Uh, I guess we're just going to make him put shit in the shadow, because why not? Is it good? Not particularly, but is it something to do? Why not? I mean, that's kind of what he, he kind of banks on these large attacks off of reshuffles. So, um, so I guess uh, I don't think you need to discard the induce. Does he hold the vicar here? You could discard the induce. You want to hold the vigor or not? Because you're just gonna resolve for recover too, and then play off the reshuffle. Yeah. See, look, that's another thing too. Because Shen's playing a ping deck, and it, it incentivizes him to have to drain more shadow as well to protect himself. So I feel like a bit of anti synergy against Shen's deck as well. It's just not particularly good. He's already down for life as well. Like holy. Well, not down for life, down two, but not four. Shen was going to take a lot of damage on his reshuffle. And he hasn't even started to do the hard. He hasn't even popped Lithurgy either. So it's just not going to get better here. W1. Yeah, there's Lithurgy that's probably going to come down this turn. Nothing else makes sense. Shen needs to take a life damage. He is not. Mm. Did he reshuffle? Yes. Mm. Shuffle last turn. Okay. Wait, he did? I thought he just... Purple, like... you're throwing me off here. <laughs> what? He reshuffled last turn? I thought he just reshuffled. He's last got time three I checked cards in... left, so he definitely... Bonkers. Alright, yeah, this game's doomed. Holy. I thought he had zero looking at his deck. Guess I'm wrong. I thought I literally saw... I thought you hovered it and it said zero. I guess it said three. Or five. Why would uh, it five zero. zero? Well, not zero. Just nothing. I don't know. Just I'm dumb, I guess. Yep. More useless cards that we're going to be discarding. Generate more shadow. Just play Caltrops. Fuck it. Just get more shadow and say it's a win con. I mean, Caltrops is pretty decent just to play out of hand because of the no reactions thing. But yeah, I don't, he's not even Shen even packing any reactions. I don't think he is. Uh, just the special. If memory serves. Well, it's just the death and rebirth. Yep. Worth. He was going to pop it. Bum, bum, bum. Cap drops. I don't know. This is just, I really don't have a lot to say. This game's just over for Wrestlord. I mean, he just doesn't have a win con. Like, I, 24 Shadow is not a reachable feat, I'm pretty sure. And if it is, then uh, I pog, I guess. But I just don't believe in it. He doesn't have the tools. Not without doing more life damage. Yeah. He doesn't have the tools to do life damage, so. <laughs> It's a tool, like, literally, it's like one life damage per reshuffle, and that's it. Gee, that's, like, it. That's all he's got. It's just not playable. Like, even Kumasuke would have been pretty good. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Like, obviously, Shen probably would have played it, but fuck. Like, this isn't... See, that's, like, the problem. He's just gonna suck it right back up. That's actually a good point. Shen even probably brought Death in Your Birth just in case he somehow played into Kumasuke. Yeah, that's also probably true. I mean, Shen, yeah, Shen's a good player. I mean... I don't know. He he wanted to just play in a way that guarantees him a win majority of the time. Because going like full aggro, you can get like just cheesed by something and you just lose. But since he's opted for a slow time, okay, yes, yeah, so there we go. Wait, what? Okay. Well, Shen's not gonna do. He's on one card. He's not doing anything this turn. He's gonna draw two cards, fucking gain a bunch of aura, then like tip you. Maybe. Yeah, he's of course. Uh, just punch him in the face. If just it for goes, one. if it, yeah. But That's why? Good. I mean, what's the what's the purpose? Yeah, you just you back up one and then hit with the needle, right? No. Just gonna do whatever he wants. He could just pass the turn, honestly, but he's not going to. That's. Well, Ew, if, he, if he passes the turn, oh, I gotta, he loses I a draw, chat. right? He doesn't have a way to I'm damage just, him on reaction. I'm just saying it doesn't matter what he does because he wins anyway. Um, all right, well, that disenchants.
Oh no, Shen's turn is done. Yeah, okay. Well, yeah, that poison still goes though, right? Or does that end before the after turn effect? I guess it might end before that the after doesn't. Turn, after that attack. doesn't. What? Interesting. Current phase? Yeah, but now he gets that. That's bonkers. That's not in the same phase. They're in the oh, phase. Yeah, yeah you're, the right, main you're, right, phase. you're right. You're right. At the end of the main phase, poison still goes off. So even more juice. Yeah, this is just very Keck W. Yeah. I yeah, don't know. That's like the perfect card for dealing with that. What? That's not how after effects trigger said, whether you said damage he them was or not. Wondering if it did. It uh, but I mean, it damages has no phase on poisons. You could. The only you have to cancel it. Yep, a bunch of like this is. <laughs> How do you generate shadow with these cards? Just tell me. What do you do with them? Tell me, Aryan. How do you generate shadow with these cards? Tell me the secret. Tell me the juice. You trick your opponent into spending a lot of flare. Oh, okay. My bad. That's actually yeah, that's a pretty good strat. I need to practice it more. I need to use mind control. <laughs> you need to get your opponent to spend flare with it. By mind control. To be fair, like, but see, like, <laughs> like, eh, no memes. Like, I, I could just meme this whole match. But like, no memes. You can't build a deck that affects your that effectively hope that your opponent fucks up. Like, that was the entirety of Karashex's deck when his match. He was like, I hope my opponent fucks up, and then maybe I'll win. And he was playing against Shen. Lo and behold, Shen did not fuck up. <laughs> so, like, it was like, okay, well then, I guess that's fine. But you can't build decks like that. it's not winnable. That's not my strategy. Go it wasn't my strategy going in with mix, but there was definitely a point that the game reached where I'm like, okay, my only chance is if he makes a mistake, and he did. Don't worry, I'll watch your match and I'll flame you later. I just haven't done it yet. So I appreciate I'm sure. that. I appreciate all the the constructive criticism you have. To <laughs> but yeah, I mean, this people is just always give people constructive feedback, right? I think it was just it's matchup just knowledge perfect. on my part. But... <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, yours is, okay, longer the match, usually it means it's cleaner. Usually. That means someone didn't do something stupid and the game ended in 10 seconds. Like, I guess this is going to go down in the books as a semi-clean match, but the problem isn't that that West Lord's playing particularly bad. I think the usage of that special was awful, but whatever. The issue is, is he lost the deck building, and I hate commentating, like, these matches. Like, it's cool to commentate, it's a car arms, cool game, but when you see matches that are over before they start, you really just don't have a lot to say. And now we're just going over the nuances of the rules that <laughs> literally have no bearing on the game. That was my fault. I brought that up. But it's, also, it's, I mean, it's if we're going to talk about more nuances. We're talking about this card because this card has got weird interactions. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> yeah, my biggest nuance that I can't get over is you play a terminal card, it gets canceled, you still can't do anything. Yeah. That doesn't make any sense to me, but whatever. That's stupid. It's like if you played a throw out and it gets canceled. But, I mean, I guess. I guess. Sure, it's just weird. It's like the way it works. What else? Also, I think it's weird you can struggle to life even if you have ore. That sounds odd to me as well. You can do what now? I don't know. I keep saying struggle. I don't know if that's right. Oh, you're talking about, you like, take frustration damage? Frustration, that's what it is. Yeah, you can, you can, you can definitely take frustration you take to damage to life if you choose. That's so, like, you can take one, one ones to life if you have aura. It's your choice. I mean, yeah, but they're not attacks. That's why it's different. Oh my god, if you could react to fucking frustration damage, this game would be out of this world. Bullshit. <laughs> Holy, people would be no, doing some off-the-wall bullshit. That's not an attack. <laughs> yeah, dude, if you just take fucking frustration damage to fucking song and dance to final blow, dude, I'm there for it, actually. Song and dance your frustration into final blow, that would be the absolute fucking juice. And no one would ever play this game again. It'd be great. We, I mean, shit doesn't have to do anything. Just play the throughout. Who cares? Do you want to poison him some more? What do you want to do? You want to storm claw him? Like you just, you can punch him in the face. You can give him more poison. You can stock up on some more resources. What do you want to do, bud? It's all up to you. All right, we're gonna stock up on more. Re ah, Shen's playing to win. It's really boring. That's thunder. Yeah, I mean, sure. Okay. Why thunder is boring though? That's the one who attack and give you 
boost. No, because it's winning. I mean, this is just a winning play. Like, he's not taking... He's just going to, like, burn him out. Oh, my God. Shen's gonna, oh, I forgot. Shen's just going to burn him out. Uh, yeah. Right. Yeah, eventually to, he's like, just going to have his liturgy up, and then he's going to be able to power up all of his attacks as he, as he wants. Yeah, I forgot. Shen's a burner player. He's one of those players who like have a small lead and just make the match go on for another forty five minutes until he just burns you out. That's not a bad play. I mean it's very clean play from Shen. It's just like it's like watching a, a train slowly coming towards the person tied to the railroad and the person the railroad is just fucking passed out. And <laughs> it's just slowly coming. It's like <laughs> just Oh wow, that right. analogy is so great. depressing though. Oh my god. Fuck. <laughs> That's scary. <laughs> He does have Rush of Blades here. I forgot that he had that card packed. Um, you might be able to pull something off of that with Uruwa, but... Not a W. <laughs> I mean, even, like, that's the thing that bothers me. It's like, even if he gets one or two things off, it's just not enough. Like, that, it's just not enough. We're at seven fucking if he shadow. Gets, if we he need gets another. The dream of hitting he has Eltraps no flair. And Steel Strings, and then follow up with Rush of Blades. That's, like, his only out, right? Yeah, but then he calls a rebirth, and none of that works, and then we're back to where we started. And he's taking this life. Like, how much... Okay, just to put this in perspective of how ridiculous this is, he needs another fucking 16 flare, or 16 shadow. Well, the only 25, way that shadow's right? ever going to be there is if people lose their life, and it migrates from flare to shadow. But the problem is that Shen also has burst damage. He can yeah, yeah. burst through low life counts. Yeah, yeah. Although he could have had more bursty damage, but he chose to play the less fun build, where you just pack like shit like Surge of Vitality and shit to just make sure your opponent literally can't play the game. But like, is he gonna take this to R zero? No, he can't. It's it's not possible. Um. Oh. All right, you know this game's fucking doomed if your opponent's thinking about whether or not they want to get a flare and off a two vigor. So like, uh, so passive. Stack up that flare. What you should really do... Okay, let, let me think. He should, okay, what Shen should do is just... No, no, that doesn't make sense. Never mind. Yeah, think about what you're oh. going to say before you say it. Mm. Okay, I got it. Okay. He should play Claw and Rebirth. Use the enhancement from, and um, rebirth. from his aura and then suck up back the aura. Definitely a W. What? Can't lose. Oh my god, we're doing this. No, Shen, please. Don't do this. Don't do it. Don't resolve. Don't suck the shadow. Give him a chance. No. No. <laughs> no. He did it. He recovered. It's doomed. West Lord, your turn. You down oh. to four life. Now what? Yeah, I played a very long right, game against Shen. No. Where I played it, Suru. And. Yeah. And it, I just kept burning Shadow, and he kept, I kept, I kept burning him with Curse of Ashes, and he kept recovering. So he kept like recovering so defensively that he couldn't attack me, and I kept not being able to get through his defense there. And it was just a complete stalemate until I finally got to twenty four Shadow at the end. And you won, Pog. I did just barely. I scraped that one out because he his uh he had he was playing Tokyo, and his uh break points weren't lining up on every reshuffle for him, so he kind of lagged behind eventually. Nice. Yep, smartly taking the cow chop to life, so Westlord can't ever win the game. Very good. <laughs> Does oh fuck, he didn't even get Rush of Blades. Holy Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Shen's actually really good to take the cow chops to life there. Steel strings getting no value. There's nothing you can do about that though. At R1, no, not, you just fucking not die. Into. He is. It just doesn't matter. He was at R1. Wait, okay, never mind. Because he surge of vitality him. Yeah, Shen's yeah, not yeah, very fun. He's... Wait, what is induce? What's the other effect of induce? And it has something to do with the distance. What is um, it? Um, induce. You can take one distance. You can basically you make your opponent move forward one or take the focus action. So either one distance goes to the opponent's aura, or one aura of the opponent's aura goes to their focus. And, uh, oh, wait, it shortens uh, the distance. Oh, okay. Oh, again, <laughs> All right, more unplayable cards. In for song and dance, yeah. I mean, he just reaps. Oh my gosh, I don't know. Reap is 
Use the GM tech and just start deleting some of Shen's cards, make it interesting. Just the cards disappear. Like I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why you have six cards when you're reshuffling it. I don't know. What'd you do with your cards? <laughs> uh, Westlord. Just throwing please. it as a three-two, huh? Okay. Yeah. A well, shadow. It gives them something to do next turn at least. That's not fucking focusing. That's Pog. Oh come on. He's gonna have to discard taking the this rape to here too. Thank you. The only consideration and is whether he wanted to play one of his. He discards a shadow wall. He should because it's a useless card. But whatever. Because like okay, that's another thing. Discarding the shadow wall was actually really good here in my opinion. Because, like, Shen's just going to spend a bunch of time resolving. He's not going to hit you. Who cares? He doesn't need to. Yeah. He wins on default, so it doesn't incentivize him to play aggressively here. Especially when he just ripped his, like, only attack. Okay, well, why yeah, not? Here he is. Oh, the Shadow Wall, Pog! Uh, and he charges it. 8, 9. Yeah, so he goes to 7, right? Or win. the Shadow Wall good. actually kind of runs counter to the uh, generating shadow strategy, too, right? I mean, yeah, so it's, uh, I mean, the Shadow Wall was just not very good. I'm trying to think of what he replaces Reap with, though. I'm not 100% sure. It's just a 2-2, isn't it? But then he needs a way to back up, and that's really hard. Oh! Shen! Going aggressive. Yeah, so Does he have a way to back up? He doesn't have Search of Vitality. This is a 3-2, um, uh, yes. Shen has to an attack that can uh, use when win to move backwards one. Oh yeah, he can hard. Oh, he can hard. I thought it was. Oh yeah, never mind. Harnessing the storm. It's weird. Oh yeah, I guess. Okay. Yeah, it's not harness the lightning. It's harness the storm. So I guess it makes sense. And we're asking. Eh, now. Sh Shen accelerating the match. He doesn't need to do this, but it makes it faster. So we might as well. He could just burn him out. But I like Shen taking the extra step here. Yeah. So this is just a three-two. Um, takes us to life. He loses. Takes it to aura. He loses. So, I mean, this goes to aura. I mean, it has to. Then he gets two twoed, right? Because can he back up? No, he doesn't have a way to back. Oh, no, you're you know uh, uh, M4. Uh, you can back up with just, wind. He just retreat once and then two one attack and use one wind to back up and then another two two. That's going to be three to life. Og, not over yet. Is that twenty four yet? Three six nine. 12, 15. Eight more. No, that's not math. <laughs> Ten more. Thought it was 23 for some reason. Come on, Westlord. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Actually, that's correct. I... Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. But is it winning? I don't know. Is anything winning at this point? Actually, never mind. I don't think there's anything winning. What else do you... Yeah, I'm, I'm really sure. trying to visualize... Westlord's deck and what it should have been. Um, I know you replaced Shadow Wall, and I'm pretty sure you replaced Reap, but with what? Probably the 2 2 is 6 7, and then you need something to back up. What What do you want to back up? He already has an Inpo Wall. Caltrops is fine. I think, okay, I think the way is I think you have to cut Uro Uro. Well, I right? think that would only help, right? Because I think you need to run a more Utsuro focus deck with an Inpo Walk, though. Um, because you really want to back up quite a bit, and then you can just run all the destruction shit. If you're running what extinction, is... then yeah, you want to run this oh, it can be quite dangerous, right? Um, yeah, I, I think you want to run play a little bit more of a backwards comp to where you keep the range at a little bit higher and being able to enable more of those attacks. That's going to be and difficult to do against Ryra, uh... though. And Ryra and Chicago both have tools for movement. Well, I mean, I'm just trying to construct a win condition. I mean, I don't, know, I don't know. I mean, and also, I guess we, if we're really gonna go back to that point, then then we go back to bands. Uh, what was his third? Chicago, Ray Ray, Yatsuha. and Yatsuha. Yatsuha, yeah. Oh, I would 100% fucking handshake the Yatsuha over what the Ryra? Sure, that's not great, but I mean, yeah, Yatsuha I think... gets a. Uh... It's kind of in a rough spot against Obra, right? Because that's your favored range and Obra's favored range. Yeah, I think you keep the Yatsuha. You're not Yatsuha has an instant ban against reaction heavy comps, and it's not. So I don't think Yatsuha is like bannable. Like I don't. I mean, I mean, I think everything's bannable. But in this particular situation, I don't think Yatsuha has the ban. It's probably Ryra actually, because Ryra is very disruptive. Hmm. 
um, in general to like the idea. But I mean, you really had to go in with a game plan. I mean, and everything we're talking about is irrelevant anyway because he rando picked this comp. But like, still, like because obviously he doesn't have the knowledge to play the comp because he randomly picked it. But if he would have came in with a game plan, it's probably a Ryra ban or a Chicago ban. I think it's anything actually, but a Yatsuha ban. But I think Yatsuha was probably the worst ban here. Because Yatsuha does things that can enable her to be very strong in her own right, but she isn't disruptive. Because if your opponent's able to disrupt you to where you just can't play the game, there's no counterplay to that. But if you keep it in a way to where you're handshaking, you're just going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, I think it gives you a better chance of winning. And I think he had a better chance of just going toe-to-toe -to -toe, rather than just allowing himself to be disrupted from the Chikage slash Ryra. Because, I mean, he has all the tools. He just finally popped Lethargy. Like, now he's just going to start just ripping him to shreds. Like, that's the thing. Like, Shen is super far ahead. We didn't even talk about the fact that he's just generating resources to start wamboing his opponent. Like, he doesn't even need to. He could have cut that. He could have deleted that special out of the game and still probably won. So now he gets even more value. So he's going to do one aura. I think we're getting somewhat close, right? Four, five, nine, twelve, thirteen. Is this so a potential reshuffle turn? Six more. Yeah, still six. Yeah, six more, I think. Yeah. Is this a reshuffle turn? Because if this is a reshuffle turn, that's disastrous, right? Because he has to eat Lithurgy of the Storm debuff. Not Lithurgy, um, the other card. Tempest. Tempest. Yeah, Tempest. Yep. Now what? Now we run away and hope that our attacks connect next turn. And they don't, and then we lose, and then we move on to. Move on. Uh, there is no next turn, I believe. No yeah, I don't think so either. either. But he, I don't know. I think just like the comp. I mean, I don't know. Like it, obviously, like there's a lot of things I think Westler could have done better. But I mean, it doesn't matter because he's random picking. So I mean, it's like random picking. Like, oh, why didn't you play the comp well? But I'm just oh, trying yeah. to visualize what what was better. I just don't. Dark pulse might have been nice. If you're running dark pulse and you're running full moon, then right. I mean, that's no, kind of the whole strategy. Really. Full moon is super long range like you have to if you're Seven. running full moon you have to run shadow wing yep you have to go to what shadow is shadow wing which one is that that's the increase yeah. the range by two for your turn yep. oh increase the mastery zone as well it increases yeah. the range and the mastery zone by two oh, yeah. yeah or the distance in the mastery zone like virtually so at the end of your turn it goes back to what it was but that way you don't have to retreat all the way out to range six to be able to attack with it yeah, I don't know. Was that game plan? I feel like the game plan was like generally better, I think. I don't know. I don't think Obro should have been the main focus here. I don't think... I mean, in general, I just haven't seen a lot of success from Uro. Uro. Like, here's the thing about no, Uro. I, I agree. I wouldn't, I, would, I wouldn't run this. this. I think Uro, Uro strats are very good about handshaking comps. Like, comps that are like, here, I, I can't do anything to you, but I'm going to swing at you, and you're going to swing at me, and let's just go to town. But when you have characters that are more disruptive to the trap reshuffling, it becomes a lot worse. And when you realize, because you have to have an uncontested Uro Uro to where you can just rip it and just go ham on your opponent. But if your opponent's like, well, I'm going to take you to R1, or I'm going to do something awkward to you. Like, we're not even talking about how many ways that Shen can get out of this knot. He doesn't even need to use all the stuff, all the tools that he has. Like, even if he even even if he had the potential of getting an Uro Uro ass ripping, then he would just claw and rebirth and just move out of it. Like, you can't run Uro Uro against things that can disrupt it because it's a series of attacks. If one piece falls out of place, then all of a sudden the whole thing fails. So you need to be able to do uncontested tested which is why i think yatsuha was one of the few characters i think that really don't that really don't have a say when those things are happening yeah she can kind of move around the tokens a little bit but not enough to really disrupt what you're doing she can't change distance so like i think that's what's really key here is being able to get a reshuffle or, or, or specific, uh, bleh, at range two specifically for it to work while your opponent doesn't have the reactions to disrupt which is why I think in this particular situation, having an Utsuro build, centric build, would have been nice. I think Steel Strings is still a fine bring, and then Caltrops is maybe okay, but everything else is called into question, yeah, I Steel think. Steel Strings is maybe really good for making Shadow. Yeah, I guess why I'm saying it. I just don't know about Caltrops and Russia Blades. Uh, All right, the game is over. Yep, it is over now. 
three two, and I don't even care about the rest. I just know three two is gonna land. So induce does that do anything? Well, Make sure you're gonna harness the storm to do some things. E two and T one. Yeah, Thunder uh, two course. and Thunder one. So yeah, he's, okay, he's doing one, a one, one two and, yeah. shadow. Go well, four two pog. Uh, one. It's a it's four, a one, two, one one that gets buffed right. Oh wait, what is that? How it works? He did a T two. Oh no, it? it's a two one two one. Sorry, T two and T one. So he did the thunder attack, the range. Oh, he's just doing the two one. Okay, whatever. He, he wins in a hundred different ways. We can just do it this way. Yep. Now it's four two. Wait, how is it four two? Uh, oh wait, no, he did it. He did the order. Thunder, okay, so, so the order he did it. He did T two. Yep. He did T two for a one one. Then he buffed his next attack too.